The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came near to Jesus and asked him, Which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, The first is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. Then the scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one, and besides him there is no other, and to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself. This is much more important than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. After that, no one dared to ask him any question. The Gospel of the Lord. Good evening, my dear friends. When reading our gospel for today, I was deeply moved by the last line of today's gospel, which says, and I quote, You are not far from the kingdom of God. End of the quote. Our readings for today teaches us or gives us the hints on how to be closer to the kingdom of God, on how to be part of the kingdom of God. Do you want to be part of God's kingdom? Our first reading is telling us, if we wanted to be part of the kingdom of God, we have to obey the Lord and trust Him. I think that's the message of today's first reading. This is the context. Marrying a woman named Sarah, and we know that Sarah, she is a widow, married seven times. All of them died childless. And marrying her, if you are Tobias, to marry this kind of woman is scary and a tough decision. If you are Tobias, will you marry Sarah? You know her story? Seven men, all of them died, childless. And here, your father is telling you, my son, you have to marry this woman. You know, if I will be Tobias, maybe I will say no. Because perhaps that's also the end of my life. Maybe I might be the eighth man. Even the father of Sarah, named Raquel, testified and warned Tobias. And this is what he said in our first reading. I have given my daughter, Sarah, to seven men for our kinsmen, and all died. On the night he went in to her. But you know what? Tobias obeyed his father too big. Tobias listened to his father. And he married to Sarah. What the life of uh, Tobias and Sarah is telling us today? Obedience, especially obedience to the Lord, is the mother of all success. 
Obedience to the Lord is the mother of all success. My dear friends, my dear people of God, you will never go wrong in obeying the Lord. The best way to stop bad luck, the best way to stop curses, and the best way to stop failures in life is to obey the Lord. And you know what? The obedience of Tobias is the answer to the prayers of Sarah. And if you are Sarah too, maybe you will be frustrated. Lord, all of them died. Can you imagine you're marrying and then all of them died childless? But because of the obedience and the trust of Tobias, he listened to his father and he listened to the Lord through the word of an angel Raphael. He said yes to his father and the obedience of Tobias is the answer also to the prayers of Sarah. Friends, trust and obey the Lord. And to obey the Lord is to listen to the Lord. That's why our spiritual song for today is telling us, Happy are those who fear the Lord. And second, I love what Tobias did on their honeymoon. Honeymoon. It said, it says here, they prayed together. And Tobias prayed and he said, Lord, I am taking Sarah not because of lusts, but with sincerity. I am taking this woman not because of pleasures, not because of sexual experience, not because of lust, but with sincerity that we may grow old together. To belong, to be part of God's kingdom, stay away from sin that is lust. And there is an author that says, there is a long line up in hell because of the sin of lust. Long line up in hell because of lust. People are, you know, are sent into hell because of the sin of lust. So many breakups, so many divorces, so many cases of rape. Adultery, lust is one of the gates of hell. But I love the prayer of Tobias. I am taking this man, this woman rather, not because of lusts, but with sincerity. If we wanted to be part of the kingdom of God, stay away from lusts. Do not be a slave of it. Or else, we will find ourselves one among the people lining up into the gates of hell. And finally, to be part of God's kingdom, the gospel says, let God be our priority. Let God be our fundamental option. To say yes like the yes of Tobias and Sarah, our yes must be all, with all our mind, with all our understanding, with all our heart, with all our strength. We have to give him our all. We have to give him our best. And second, to be part of God's kingdom, never ignore the needs of people around us. If we do this, we are not far from the kingdom of God.